Welcome. I am your host, Dr. Derek A. Reeves, and today I welcome you to Life Principles. Today we're going to be discussing Purpose for Biblical Principles. Let's dive right in. In years past, in many cases in most churches that believed in being spiritually filled with the Holy Ghost and the evidence of speaking in tongues, primarily those who were perhaps Pentecostals or Pentecostal apostolics, there was a belief that covenant was the essential mode of living and experience in Christ. And so when we talked about being successful and being aggressive in possessing the land, and we're not talking about literally taking over the government, but we are talking about a lifestyle that was pursuant to success, a lifestyle in which all of our endeavors, whether they were educational, whether they were creating jobs or working in a job system or an occupation, the goal for the believer was that we should be the best that we could be for Christ. We were representations or representatives of God in the earth. And so everything we did in accordance to the scripture, we did in um, and of and for the glory of God. And so as years began to migrate, we began to teach covenant life, covenant life. And then for whatever reason, covenant life began to phase out. And so modern individuals began to teach life principles for success. And literally they used biblical principles of correct thinking, developing confidence and focus where the Bible tells us to meditate day and night on specific things, God gives us an understanding the importance of focus. And so when we come to Western College, we utilize biblical principles because we're literally going back to covenant relationship. Covenant relationship, then, is a relationship that is binding. And when you're bound together in covenant through a process of the sharing of the blood or through an oath or through pantomimic expressions where you're acting out things that bind individuals together. In the scripture, we find that blood covenants were not something that just randomly appeared, but they appeared because of the significance of the blood. The blood then was the life of of the flesh according to Leviticus 17 and 11. The life of the flesh or the life of the soul or of the body was in the blood. And so when there was a spilling of blood and a mixing of blood, and typically in the ancient days, people would cut the blood, let it flow into a cup, mix it with some type of elixir, and then they would drink from the same cup. And this indicated that now these two individuals became one. And so the time of the life of individuals and the carrying of your significant covenant partner within you everywhere you went indicated that there was a spiritual bond or a bond of life in such a way that each were tied to the other and each was obligated to come to the rescue, to provide resources in a time of need. And so when we look at biblical principles and we tie them to life principles, life principles through a biblical modality then brings us into the context of the promises of God and in the context of operating in covenant relationship. And because the word of God we esteem to be the only mode that reveals covenant relationship with God, our obligation to God, and God's requirement for us to fulfill those obligations, and God obligating himself to us. So this is the reason why we have biblical life principles, because we are bound to the scripture. The scripture becomes our focus, and the scripture reveals to us the only methodology in which we can tie to God in covenant. I thank you for your time. We've run out of time. I'm your host, Dr. Derek A. Reeves, and this has been Life Principles. God bless.